Bad draw in the black. Bad draw visitors, top of the first inning. Defense for Rismondo. Travis Clark at pitcher. B.J. Falk catching. Smashed into center field. A base hit by Jacinto. Left to right in the infield. Looks like we got Bryson Baker at third. Kevin Bezat at short. And a base knock for Jacinto. One on and one Greg out. Greg Cannell in the middle. Now stepping into Second the box. Base. It'll be the first baseman. Number 19, Jess Mahoney. Second That's base almost looks like Maloney. Chris Hansen. Jess with 53 First home base, runs. First base, Kyle Pearson. 114 RBIs. Left to right in the outfield, Wegman, Umshide, and Wolf. Let's see what Rizmano's doing here with the lineup. They got Helmer at DH, batting sixth. Big Jess Maloney, the batter. Bad draw on A team out of North Carolina. Taking on Rismondo here in the semifinals. No one would have ever guessed that. They had the big upset of Thunder Wednesday night, and then they beat Bob Ford yesterday afternoon. Well hit by Maloney. Back goes Wegman to the fence, and it's gone. Two-run homer and by Maloney. that's a two-run home run for Jess Maloney. And draws on so the board here in the first. So a 2 lead for bad draw, and now stepping into the box, the catcher, number 13, Timmy Mickey. Tim Mickey, the batter. Once played with 454 on the A-Worlds. Bounced around a little bit after that, but found a home here with Bad draw. First pitch swinging. Left center Wegman makes all the run for it. And, and the high fly ball outs. to left field. Camping under it, Brian Wegman. So two outs. And now stepping into the box, it'll be the left fielder. Number two, Brent Powers. Brent Powers, the lefty, stands in, all-conference performer. Stacking the right side against him. He pulls it hard. Back goes Wolf to the warning track. And makes and the, the catch. Ball to Three outs, right two field, runs across. In bad the draw leads for his mondo it. coming up. So in the inning, bad draw. Two runs, two hits. We'll go to the bottom half and do up for the home team, Rismondo. It'll be Baker, Pearson, and Cannell. and every day you come out here to the park, you give everything you got. Behind every good team is a great coach. Our hands are not in here, hands are out. Today's coaches mold tomorrow's leaders. A lot of hard work. We know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the job. And that's why this season, coaches fly free when booking their teams travel with us. That's all right, come on, fine. Save time, save money, fly with the Air Travel Group. your team on that air travel group so your manager can fly free. We now go. have the home plate umpire Mike. That's Tony Walzak. What's that, bud? Might have hit the plate. Once you started swinging, though, I stopped watching it. You know what I mean? There's really no need to. Rizmondo leadoff hitter Bryson Baker. 
two hitter Kyle Pearson, the 2017 home run derby champ, and then the three hitter Greg Cannell, two time triple crown winner. Bryce Baker. Pretty good starting three. First pitch swinging, Baker in the center field. You get that feeling that Rizmondo's going to have some aggressive swings in this game. Not let that draw hang around too long. Pearson went over the scoreboard four times last night in the home run derby. Winner goes to the winner's final, 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, right here on U-Triple-S-A Live. Yeah. Swung on, base hit, left center. Through short and middle on the left side. And that Pearson the with the base hit. Canel the batter. And now, now stepping into the box will be the middle field. Field. Number seven, the most valuable player in the 2013 World Series, Greg Cannell. Good. Play it. Now first pitch swinging. He goes deep to center. Jarman over makes the catch. Right on the warning track. Long fly ball to the sack fly. Pearson's going to take second on the missed cutoff. Two to one. Rizmondo on the board. Brian White got the batter. Now into the box. It'll be the left fielder. Number 12. Playing out of Hamilton, Ohio. Brian White. Brian Nine-time All-World Play it! My bad, John. Come try it, you good? Come back, come back. Wegman takes a walk on three pitches. Yeah, it's going out. Travis Clark. And the base on balls for Brian Wegman. So two on with one out. And now it'll be an opportunity for the third pitcher. base for bad draw. David Forbes. Travis. Second base, Dylan Smith. Travis. Shortstop, CJ Jacinto. Middle infielder, Josh Brown. And the first baseman, Just Maloney. Paul Winter on the mound. Yes. Two on, one out. Clark at the plate. Backside. Swung at a bad pitch. It's kind of had everything. I, I was telling Coop that that last game was kind of reminiscent to me of think back a couple of years. Resmondo, which was really that smash it team taking on Backman. It seemed similar. Yep, we had the rain. Backman came out. Jumped all over him. Play it. We had the big rain during that game. And they played in standing water. Well hit. And gone for Travis Clark. And, and that ball is Clark out recovered from that bad Clark. first swing with a three-run homer. And the three-run homer. First run run first lead. Two. They may not look back One here. Out. And the bases are cleared. And now and stepping I got into the box. box. It'll be the Hall of Famer, the 12-time All-World Team member. Abby's a baller on high first, isn't she? Makes it look real. Follows, follows that ball well. The big man from Cicero, New York, number 44, Brett Helmer. Brett Helmer. Play it. It's Brent Powers out there in left, German in center, and Marshburn in right. Marshburn's going to get a chance. Nope, can't track it down. Homer hits it to the 385. And that has himself a double. Hi! So one on, one Do you have any updates on what you you heard like from the dance side about the injuries earlier? We have to wait. 
I think we're going to have to wait. Look like L.C. Watson for sure pulled a hamstring. Bob Bob the MVP MVP the Thank you. Fourth half for the all team. You good, Bob? Well, the rain has come and gone. Kind of knew it was going to be a factor today, and it's expected to be a factor again tomorrow. Unfortunately, we have a two-hour gap built into tomorrow's games. Yeah, this double. Bubba Mack. Hey! Going from the point. Off contact. Great hustle there. Brings up Buddy Wolf. Talking about on Facebook Live, the distances here. Number 94, Buddy Wolf. Play it. I know you maybe you need to get the ruler out tomorrow to really test yeah. your, your Google Earth theory oh, yeah, in the right corner. I trust Google Earth. Do you? Yes. Buddy Wolf. Wolf. And that's a no Good night into the Buddy trees. Wolf. That one they had cleared the wow. big wall in the back. Buddy Wolf, a three-run bomb, and that'll make that's it. That's a big boy home run. Did you get an extra home run for that one, right? Uh, extra run when it goes over the yellow wall. Could talk to Don about that. Fielder, number 21, the two-stat member of the all-world team, Mike Upshine. Yeah, the Google Earth shows 335 to left, and actually Google Earth shows 375 to the gaps. 400 to center and then only 317 to right. Yeah, that one looked like it was Helmer's well, but instead th there's actually a car park out there. They obviously didn't get the memo. It's one thing to park in the corner, but you got a crazy man to your right who's got his parked in the straightaway, a Good. white mountaineer. Must, must have a few dents in it already, so he didn't really care. He wants to test his comprehensive insurance. And, and then you get another one that's really in it does that look like a silver Mazda. Right there. Kevin Bazat, seven to two. Rezzi in the lead. Travis Rosmano rebuilt the team in hopes of regaining this title. I'm sure this this is the thought of all the offseason moves that came down to this week. Right, they built a lineup that may have been on paper one of the best lineups in the history of the game. Bazat with a solo right homer. Kevin Bazat bangs it over the wall in right. But they without a big tournament win. We've talked about it a couple times. They won Indiana. They won. Number seven. They won the Dudley, but as big as that win sound, there were no other major teams present at those tournaments. So they, they have yet to win a tournament where there was another major team. Here we go. Oh. BJ Falk. Missed it. Missed it. So one of the thought processes Brett. Brett. So we end the inning there. We'll hold that thought. Eight to two, Rismondo there. after one. It's right there, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That one is Tyler Martin. Yeah, you know, most of them, that was eight just wrong. Yeah, no, that, that's right on that borderline. and every day you come out here to the park, you give everything you got. Behind every good team is a great coach. Our hands are not in here, hands are out. Today's coaches mold tomorrow's leaders. A lot of hard work. We know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the job. And that's why this season, coaches fly free when booking their teams travel with us. That's all right, come on, it's fine. Save time, save money, fly with the Air Travel Group.
We're back for the top of the second inning. This is the pressure that goes on that first group, especially an upset-minded team like Bad Draw. They did at least mark in the first inning, but then Rosmano answers back plus six. And so I think the pressure at. starts to mount now, right? Right. Rosmano oh, did it with the home runs, which Bad Draw is not going to be able to keep up, pace with the home runs. So they got to play their game and think base hit on the hope that Rosmano makes a few errors. Oh, like that go. throw right hey. there. That's going to be E10 on the throw. And good hustle by German. Looks like an easy play. Get my line up here, right? Matt Bunn. I just roll it up. Let's go, Bubba. All right, David Forbes at the plate. That's Marshburn on first. Where is that? Let's go. Tyler Marshburn. Good start. Flat. Oh boy, work. Work, come on. That boy. Well this hit. ball is carrying oh. and gone. That ball is gone. He gets out of the yard. Buddy Wolf got turned around. Both ways, we almost made a full spin and still almost got a glove on this, and the ball just kept carrying. I think that Buddy Wolf thought he had a chance to make this play. He didn't get exactly get straight back to the fence. Just Where? missed. Buddy Wolf, a football defensive end in college. And that one hit hard to left, and that ball is gone. There you go. Back Maybe back they will try to do it with the home Forbes runs. And, and it's it's eight eight to five. Forbes and Smith back-to-back back homers. Well, this is a good night to hit. Here's Matt Bunn. You can tell Matt O'Hara is running home plate. When has a little stop at the Here beginning. Oh, oh! Could have a little baby girl in December. Did you know that, DW? Outstanding. I never thought it would happen. Joining the club. That bun. Bubba. Plenty, Bubba. Plenty. The catch. And the high pop at Kyle Brown. Bubba Man. That's just the first out. Not a bad answer here. Already to get three on the board. Thank you. They've been solid all tournament. Fell into that nice part of the bracket with all the upsets. Got to play another A team in the quarterfinals. I got you. And now they're trying to make the most of an incredible opportunity to make it to the championship game of the Major World Series. That's Paul Winner. And that one holds up. And that's a base knock into shallow left center field. A base hit. You guys. Nice hustle and strong throw by Wick at the hold of the one back. But the field one out, one on. Josh Brown, the batter, runner on first. Josh Brown. It's a big spot here for Bad Draw. Imagine where they are. They took down. Thunder. You know, uh, the, the conference champions. Yeah. Smash of Thunder. Major team in the first round by a run. Come on, come on, come on, work. And once they did that, it wasn't necessarily a quote unquote hey, bad hey, draw hey, because hey. they got a chance to take on another team. The catch! And upset minded and forward. Ball forward, another A team. Hi! Mike Upshot. Beat them soundly. But you're not going to win the Major World Series without going through a Respondo, a Smash and historically a Laser Vision. And the target. Now Dan Smith, now that he's back in the game. Right, but a good feeling for an A team to be here on Friday night knowing they're going to play Saturday no matter what. You know? And sponsor Brandon Cashwell, I'm sure, is excited. Popped up. Called for and cup, but not a bad Five, little right, inning right, there for right, bad draw. They put three on the board. Rosmondo coming back to the plate. Rob in an eight-five contest. Rob, Rob, Rosmondo, it is the top of the order.
We are back under the lights at the AAA Men's Major World Series. DW from softballcenter.com. This is a busy time of the year for you guys. The biggest week of the season. Right. And most fun for all of softball. It's interesting. You told me about this story, your 10th anniversary. Oh, boy. This is how it all started. Base hit by Bryson Baker. Straight up the middle. And a base not for Bryson Most Baker. of the people are thinking, all right, Hawaii, Caribbean. Right. You said Orlando, and it wasn't for Mickey Mouse. Kissimmee, I figured we'd get away from uh, watch some softball yep. while, while my wife went to the spa, right? Hall of Fame Classic, April of 2008. And who was there but Softball Kingdom? And they were broadcasting the games, and I did a little report, and they hired me to travel the country. And the rest is history. History, history yep. Yeah. Pearson trying to go backside. That ball is going to carry. And I know the softball community really appreciates what you do because it, uh, so many great players out there that kind of go under the wraps. And I know that uh, it seems like it's just been an audience that's built. The sport continues to grow. The audience slowly built over the last 10 years. And uh, yeah, we have the free agent pages coming up in two weeks. After the season's over, you can get your free agent page on Softball Center. We can get you on a team. And the ground ball that's good news for all the people that are on Facebook Live right now watching, because I know it seems like so, that's some of the biggest question. It's more of how can I get involved in this tournament? Take another look at this great infield dig. Made it look smooth there. Some people wonder if they could just sign up and get into this tournament. Obviously. Not only is this invitation only, you're in the conference and it's only the Wait. best of the best in the conference that get an invitation here to the Men's Major World Series. Tell you what, Wegman took a crack at that one. Off the wall. And that the scoreboard. Off the scoreboard, so a homer. But yeah, you have to be a member of the conference to play in the UAAA Men's Major World Series. You have to finish in the top 16 in points. And there's two other ways to, to make it, and that's the last chance qualifier. Right. For conference teams that haven't already qualified, that's Labor Day weekend. And then the final 18th seed goes to the Military World Champions, which this year was clutch. Play it. I think it was told that the Out Military play. World Series is another one of the events that will be coming down to Florida to be at the new well, Space Coast Complex. Yep. Like that event keeps growing, over 150 teams okay. this year. Should throw as contact. And imagine the honor of winning that and, and getting to, to play in the <laughs> men's major. Clutch got a win you this year. That last game? Oh, that's right. And last play. Yeah. I believe on a broadcast we said that that was the back first off, ever military off. win. Right. I was corrected on Facebook by one of the players that said, uh, for the fallen, okay. won one game. Uh, back. back. The first year, I believe, the... Uh, Conference cha uh, allowed the military champion in the yeah. World Series. Clark, and see you later. Rosmondo's decided just to swing for the fences and overpower this team. The only question is, can you do that to Andy Purcell tomorrow at one o'clock in the afternoon? Here, I don't know. Yes, sir. You might be able to do it to bad draw. Why can't I just be a left? It's 10 o'clock, or whatever time it is. <laughs> we, we got the 1046. 1046. Brett Helmer. Flag is. This is supposed to be our early night. You know, and as far as conference play, this, this is pretty early it's for pretty me, early. actually. I know it's past your bedtime, Burn. I got you. I got you. Let me know. Hanging in there. In a busy day. Lots of games on the air. Backfields getting Quiet. coverage. It'll be a whole lot easier next year when it's in the Space Goose and they're all dialed in. Yep. No, Brady, come on. Elmer lines a base hit against the shift. Hi! Twelve five, bottom of the second. Rismano with eight in the first four in the second. 
As Coop told us, the uh, brand new Easton Fireflex being swung and here. Here we go. It's Bubba Mac with one. I'm kind of an Apple guru, so that one September is kind of my Christmas when the new phone comes out every year. Obviously, held off on the 8, but today is typically the day that I walk in with a new phone. But uh, really, it's Christmas time for the softball players to get those new bats underneath the... Uh, and getting a couple of swings in with the new technology. Oh, the new bats come right. out for the World Series so they can market those. Can you actually buy them? I don't know if we know Not that. Not until November. November, okay. Yeah. Rizmondo lineup, yeah. when you think about it, Buddy Wolf batting eighth. And Scott Kirby's not even in the lineup tonight. So they are stacked, and they're tra just trying to overpower a bad draw. Big shift on Buddy Wolf here to the right side. The big thing for them is bad draw yes. for three in the top of the second. Yes. They've answered back with four here in the bottom half of the inning. Here we go. Back. Hey. You got it. That's a wobbler. It's a good wobbler. Smile, China. China, go here. Catcher calling the pitcher China. That's his nickname. Paul China, winner. Missed. And the opening at the end of the day, they're going to say winner, winner, chicken dinner. They've done that the last two days. A win tonight would probably be the biggest win by a team that's two classes below I got the major in the history of the Major World Series. That big. That big. Yeah. Last year we had Third Street beat Rismondo, right. but Third Street was a double A team. That's right. That was gonna catch I still always think back about the Taylor made team. Losing on the first day and working their way back all the way to the championship. <laughs> right. That team was a 16 seed, lost to Rismondo on Wednesday night, made it all the way back Quit to the championship. To but there again, they were, only one, they were only one level below major because there was no double A then. Play it. That team had Kevin Kennington, Jamie right. Yates, Brandon Jonas, Brian Logan. Eli Aguilar. Wow. Nice job there. Just caught it as he reached the base. Nice Can I play place. another look at that one? Break this one down for me. Bouncer to the shortstop, Jacinto. He led the middleman, or the second baseman, I appreciate Dylan Smith. And Smith <laughs> caught it just as he reached the base. Long walk. For out number three. The long walk. The one that Bubba, the one that Bubba swung at was no good. The one, oh, before that, the one before that was good. And With Direct Flights Daily, your vacation begins at GoMelbourneFlorida.com. Each and every day you come out here to the park, you give everything you got. Behind every good team is a great coach. Our hands are not in here, hands are out. Today's coaches mold tomorrow's leaders. A lot of hard work. We know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the job. And that's why this season, coaches fly free when booking their teams travel with us. That's all right. Come on. It's fine. Save time. Save money. Fly with the Air Travel Group. be the first time. Here we are on top of the third inning. 12-5. No. I'm the one that'll give them people in bats. That shit costs money. <laughs> <laughs> there is Brett Here we go. Humber's been working the umpire for three innings now. 
<coughs> Jacinto with an extra base hit to right center. He's got a triple. I feel like Helmer's got the right mentality. Comes in, picks some of the most important tournaments to make appearances at. Yeah, he he might have had 35 at bats on the season until he came here. Right. So, and he kind of feels it out those first few nights. If he's hitting it, he keeps going. Yes, I did. He's hitting it well this week, so he's going to keep keep himself in the lineup. Why is he going to call me names? <laughs> Just Maloney with the runner on third. Might be a free swing here by the big guy. He goes backside. It's going to fly out on the run. The, the Wolf makes the catch. I don't know why he's throwing it so hard. Hit a one for one. Yes. While you're here. Sack fly, 12-6. Thank you. For the catcher, number 13. Well, they're marking it every inning. You need to break it in more. Yeah, they put it, just put it on too thick and left. Yep. Thanks, sir. All right. Play it. Oh boy. Mickey hammers a single on the left. He's going to hit him in the forehead. He really wanted to hit. So Mickey aboard. One on, one out. Homer and Tony Walzak agreeing that that was the, one of the worst pitches to swing at. <laughs> Here, give me that one. I'll throw it over the side. Switcheroo, don't you care? No, stay there. Here we go. Brent Powers, Powers the batter. We love the Powers brothers. Powers brothers, he got all that one. Brent, oh, Brent Powers got to play a few Powers more games than Lee Powers did. Here, so Lee eight. Powers was with Newbreed. They went 0-2. Right I'm sure they'll talk about that at the end of the day, right? Yeah. This is why you don't park your car is there no? out in right field. I don't think so, no. Ooh. I don't Where's remember the bounce? one yet. Yeah, there's five balls buddy, right? Maybe to hit a card and just get stuck. Go. Yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. Might have got right. stuck up strange. underneath there. Just back with that height, that's all. I don't hear it test the feats every year. I don't there know. We go. need to maybe ah. put a, a, a magic number out on his car. A little bonus right point there. action in the derby if you hit it. Go ahead. Marshburn walks. Helmer's going to work the umpire here. David Forbes first pitch swinging, hit it well. Wegman's back. Oh, 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 wow! Wegman's done that a few times. We saw him do it twice in the championship game last year. Come on back, y'all! He has that time where he gets to the fence and then he leaps and he holds himself on the fence and helps push himself up with his right hand. Watch, grabs, yep. kind of holds on to the fence. Instead of coming down, he makes a catch. Amazing. Wegman doesn't want to give up that left field spot. He's Sorry. rumored to be moving to first base next year. Dylan Smith. Nice. Hey. Yeah, he did. Away. Yes. Two! Struck him out in the inside corner to end the inning. Not every day you see that. The draw got three. They trailed 12-8. A called 
Okay. Strike, strike three to retire the side. Can I help you? What? First one was flat. That was fucking 15 feet. What? 15 feet. You're right. That was not 15 feet. It's 10 feet right behind it. One or the other. It's right behind a dish. Help me out a little bit. Straight or 10. With Direct Flight Daily, your vacation begins at GoMelbourneFlorida.com. Each and every day you come out here to the park, you give everything you got. Behind every good team is a great coach. Our hands are not in here, hands are out. Today's coaches mold tomorrow's leaders. A lot of hard work. We know the blood, sweat, and tears that go into the job. And that's why this season, coaches fly free when booking their teams travel with us. That's all right. Come on. Fine. Save time. Save money. Fly with the Air Travel Group. Strike zone is 3 to 10, and that's what's going to get called. Yes, sir. We're still talking about the strike zone. And, and this is what we talk about with the, I call it intimidation. Maybe we need a hey, different don't word. Strike. But don't strike. Yeah. Both teams just working the umpire relentlessly go. on balls and strikes. And there's not a person here outside of these two teams that care. Uh, Take a look. This is. This whoops. shouldn't be able to argue balls and strikes. Take a look. This is the called strike through altitude. Yep. Good height. Hit the inside corner. And he's, he's out. He didn't even argue. He was out. Good flat hit. And I think sometimes, you, you know, Coop's talking about that. You need that a little bit more. Maybe you need to follow the rules a little more on the strike zone. I think sometimes the umpires right. tend to not do the called strike three. Yeah, strike two in the conference, it kind of shrinks. The zone shrinks for strike two. It's different than strike right. one. And I don't know. You talk to some umpires, they say that, you know, this is the major leagues of, of slow pitch, so the zone's going to be smaller, just like the major league baseball zone is smaller than the, than the minor league zone. But making these guys swing a little more wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. Here's Bryson Baker. Top of the order again, so Rismondo... Unless they make a mistake, yeah. like a double play, they're just going to start teeing off here on Paul Winter here in the third. Dylan, you go. It's no wind right Quiet. now at all. It's a good night to hit. And Baker hits it down into the corner. And out of here, just inside the foul pole. Three hey, run shot. 15-8 lead. Now Rosmano's going to start thinking about pushing some run rolls. 30 after 3, 20 after 4, 15 after 5. Kyle Pearson, the batter. Here is Kyle Pearson. Here we go. Pearson backside again, drifting to the fence. Well, we saw a lot of that oh. last night. Kyle Pearson left the yard. He was absolutely fabulous winning the Men's Major World Series Home Run Derby. Take a look at this. Pearson is a hitting machine, and he's working on another MVP, basically, if their team were to win. We're on Kyle Pearson, Lindsay Good. Schmidt. Lindsay, here we go. That's right, you guys. You saw, in case you missed no, it in. last night, Pearson won his first home run derby. And as DW just mentioned, he was Short. last year's World Series MVP, so he's looking to do that again in this tournament. 
What do you think the chances are, DW? Uh, as long as their team wins, I think they're pretty good. All right. Once in a while, we'll see a co-MVP. You know, if someone has a good enough, a really dominating offensive performance and is on the second place team, he's got a, he would have a shot at co-MVP. If they win it, he's in line because he's got the numbers. Here we go. Canal setting the table here again. for Wegman. 16-8. Yeah, they doubled up Bad Draw, and Bad Draw is not playing a terrible game by any means. Man. I thought that one was so high, yeah. it didn't have a chance to get out of the R, but it was quite the opposite. And now into the box, the pitcher, Travis Clark. Wags was in. Wags would love to have these same conditions tomorrow. If they get to that one o'clock game. Connie. Rizmondo looking good here against Bad Draw. Here we go. Looks like we have an ambulance coming in. Maybe for one of the men's B or women's games in the back. There's still a couple of fields working. Oh yeah. Here we go. TG Brand, the number one seed at the B, really? was upset by a team called CTC. Obviously, it's been a, a little bit of a challenging week for the National Office and for all the softball people that run these tournaments because a park was completely taken out of the equation. Obviously, that happened last week right. when you guys were down there for the World Series. They had to move to the Osceola Softball Complex, Fortune Road down again this week because of Hurricane Irma. Right. right, Fortune Road had some no. fence, light, and field damage. It's not, yes, it's not getting up high enough. Helmer, the all-time leading home run hitter in World Series Disney history. Hey. Playing against a big shift. Sit on it. There's a pitch to hit, bounce up the middle. Trying to Josh double him up, Brown. and they do. Brown to Jacinto and to Maloney for the double play. Beautifully done here. And I like the pick by Maloney over at first base. He didn't quite have his feet set to receive that Here throw. Like he got to the bag late. He still made the play. That one's crushed. Well, there have been no small innings for Rosmondo tonight. Eight in the first, four in the second, seven here in the third inning. Scotty. Scotty. Here is Buddy Wolf. He hammered it. Just missed that car. And the solo home run for Buddy Wolf. His second of the ball. A seven run into the third inning now. Mike got shot. That's all you can do. Come on. We're good. Keep working, China. Playing with fire, I would say. Come on. And it finds the yellow wall on the hop. Yeah. Here we go. Yes, Tyler. I'm um, trying hoping that he can do a little dugging tomorrow night, Boy, celebrating another big. men's major World Series championship. You still call these Coffee guys the defending champs? I, I think they are. I know the sponsor groups changed teams. But you know, eight, eight out of the 11 main players on Helmer's team here, Rosmondo, were with Smash it last year when they won the title. Hey, hey, BJ. Umshide's won two World Series, one with Laser Vision and one with Smash It. 
And they've had a good run of late, DW. Obviously, Helmer's team is going to be in the running every year, but it seems like they've had a heck of a last couple of years overall. What? Yeah, they made the finals. No. 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 At well, least the last two years, maybe more. I should take back when I was in the title hey, game three years ago. Go over there, you're right. Hey, you know your job safe. Hey, you make bad calls against us, son. Um, all right. Oh, no, no, that's on me. You're going to not say another word. Come on. Got it? Come on. Because I will. Come on. I'll throw him out. Let's go. No. Come on. Keeps running. Come on. He ain't saying nothing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. You better go talk to him then. You go talk to him. You go talk to him. Go in there. Get away from me. Get in there. Wow. <laughs> Don't you love having the umpire mic down? I love the mic, but the gotcha. attempted intimidation of players to umpires is just its silly. Does it even change they the course even, of anything? They shouldn't tolerate it. Just toss them. Here we go. Good miss, Ian. Ian, I'm sure I guess that's sometimes the challenge because particularly at the lower levels, that's what they're saying is we would have been thrown out, but maybe it's tolerated at the men, men's major level, so maybe they should tolerate it more at the lower levels then. Or the other way. B.J. Falk with a head first hey! slide in the second in the double. 20 to 8 to score. One thing I always say, Burn, you throw that guy out right. on Rismano, let's say. There's three more major players on the bench right. that's coming in I for them. Yeah. So what have they lost? Absolutely nothing. Oh, that was Bezat with the double. I said B.J. Falk. Here's B.J. Falk. What are we saying Play on it. Facebook? Any questions? Uh, they're no. just chatted up, having a good time watching the game for the most part. You're not getting high enough. I can't tell you nothing. What are you going to do? It's not a hard concept. They said that the tempers flare when you're getting whooped, and I guess that is the story. Yes, they do. Tonight for back draw. That's flat. I think that was what was in some ways so incredible about the earlier win tonight for Smash It is they were really getting it handed to them. Yep. By Dan Smith. Hi. And then obviously the yeah. pitching change to the right. the entry to LC Watson changed the course of the game, but Watson had shut down. You're not Smash getting free from your release. First two innings. That's not what's happening. Dan Smith had hit so well the first two innings, and then everything changed when Watson pulled his hamstring. Come on, Johnny, you're doing good. Play it. Grayson Baker, runners on the corners. Two out. They roll through the next five hitters here with two outs. Be pushing some 20 run rolls in the fourth. They got a chance to get out of it. Jacinto bodies it up, gets the out. They got getting Bryson Baker, but not before. Rismondo, they do it again. How about this for a start? Eight in the first, four in the second, and nine runs here in the third inning. Cocoa Beach, the authentic beach town, where the sand is our building blocks and a board is our preferred mode of transportation. A place where memories are awakened by the sound of a wave. It's the home of the original, 
home to the iconic, and home of the legendary. Cocoa Beach, it's still cool. Your beach vacation begins at GoCocoBeach.com. We are back at the UAAA Men's Major World Series. A couple of big Hall of Famers going in, and for more on that, let's go once again down into the dugouts. Lindsay Schmidt, Lindsay. Make, make well, sure Scott that. Kirby may not be in the lineup that. tonight, but he's getting invited into the most exclusive yeah. club for softball players. No, he's getting no. inducted into the Hall of Fame set. this year. He told me when he found out about it, he was, well, he was asleep. And his good friend and teammate, Brian Elmer, called him to tell him about his, you know, his Hall of Fame induction. And he said, you know, that's a pretty good way to get woken up. And he said he was also very Bye. excited and surprised by the news. So we look forward to seeing him in the Hall of Fame inductions this year. Yeah, and I think DW, I think it, as great of careers as all these guys have, and we get a chance to sit up here and admire what they do, I think they still do seem very much surprised when they get that call that they have been inducted right. into the Hall of Fame. And Kirby, obviously... You know, think about the foundation, the start of your career, go. softballkingdom.com. Right, the Kirby's. The start of really my career, probably softballkingdom.com as well, because yep. Bobby and would have even known that streaming softball was uh, an idea right. without it. Kirby's uh, and Scott's greatest softball accomplishment is probably the fact that he is the all-time leader at this field at the World Series on home run frequency. Right. So home runs per bat which is in an unlimited event is a pretty Quiet. impressive statistic. He's been at it for a good 13, 14 years playing at the top level. He started with Kirby Construction. They won B Worlds. That's how he was seen by Belcor and some of those teams. Hey, Did I hear a rumor that he might be Hi. contemplating Hi. retirement? Yeah, I think he said this is his last year. You never know when you when you're a major player living in Florida. Right, you've got a couple of advantages, you, right? You can pick up at the end of the season. I think there's a bunch of people that would gladly take Scott Kirby for a handful of tournaments. Yeah, Kirby probably wouldn't even need to take a whole lot of practice and come out and be productive for a lot of teams. Work, boy, good pitch. Hold up. Swung on, he threw his bat. It was actually a little scary. Went right around Tony Walzak. Wow. The home plate ump. And another seven Full cut, the bat slipped out of his hand, went almost straight back from where the batter was standing. Last year at the World Series, we saw an umpire get hit in the chest. Bouncer up the middle. It is Canal two. Steps on two, throws to one for the double play. And now Rismondo will push some run rolls. They're up 13. Where do you go now? Do you go back? Here's another look at the double play. He does a game out there. He takes his phone and puts it in my bag. And as upset, I took it back with me. I've got my phone in my pocket. I'm not looking for a phone in my bag. Oh, you did this this morning. And I'm trying to take a nap. And he's expecting me to bring it back to him right away. <laughs> hey, my first game was at 8 o'clock tonight. I'm not coming back before 6. Three experiences to have in one trip. GoTitusville.com Less than one year later, here we are. And we've been very busy. And believing in this project. Giving this association the new chapter. Now this is the final stop for at least the next 20 years.
We are back under the lights. Seems like the umpires are looking for a lost phone. They obviously don't know about finding my iPhone. Right. Right the, the other trick that a lot of people don't think about is just, hey Siri, if you have it turned on, keep walking around. They may think you're crazy. Knuckle, knuckle. Seems like that's the. Right. That's what you guys miss in between innings, because we have obviously the umpires mic'd up the entire way. It seems like they're still it searching for. I got Scott, a lost phone. Scotty O'Neill's phone. O'Neill, interesting story. He's umpiring for the first time at the World Series. Right. Okay. He was here with Taylor made as a manager right. for a couple of years and Belcour. And he told me he actually re had at bats at the World Series. So he's Scotty O'Neill's been here as a player, a manager, and now an umpire. I love that. Probably not too many people or maybe any that can say that. Pearson with a dope. It's got to help you put in contention for being a future Hall of Famer, right? I think he's working on the resume. Play it. Greg Cannell. My favorite line from Greg Cannell dates back to the Rachel Goosen era. Chicks dig the long ball. Long ball. Yeah, but they're not digging that one. Got a catch. That was Levi. a high ball. Levi. That was a home run in an in a elevator a shaft. Right. One away for the left fielder, Brian Wake. That might have been one of my best commercial work that we put together. The Chicks Dig the Long Ball commercial. Should bring that back. <coughs> we could. He said that he was kind of tricked into that. But I, the one thing I noticed about Greg Cannell is he's looking good. He, he's really trimmed down. Here we go. Here's Wegman. Wegman popped up to right field. Catch! Two out. Block it! Hey! The Rachel Goosen era, that was a good one. The books were done on time. They were right. The boards were done. We were talking Music about that good. earlier. How good it was, yeah, right? How good a work ethic she had when she got to you, Triple I'll say. It was like the golden era. And then. She may have been corrupted, is what we're trying to say. That's true. Pearson on third. Here's Travis Fire. Clark. Go. Two out. We'll do the play-by-play. -play. One, you do a word, then I do a word. Yeah. Do a word. Gonna mix it up, right? Sure. Well, this helps bad draw, right? Yeah. Bad draw, get to stick around another inning. Play it. Maybe. It's a line drive, base hit. Clark. Another. Hey! Homer's going to get another crack at a homer. Last time he went for a base hit, I don't think he'll try that again. I got you. Here he is. Brett Helmer is back. Helmer's one of those guys you stop and you see how far he's going to hit it. Whatever you're doing. If you're looking at your phone in the stands and you hear Helmer, you yep. put down the phone just for a minute. I got you. See what's going to happen. Or I guess I'm not in the snap era, but I mean, you pick it up because you want to snap it and show your friends how far you can hit it. Right. Play it. Facebook Live. No need to do that because we already got you covered on the Facebook Live side. Right. Facebook Live feed's looking real good. Nope. Count is full to Brett Helmer. So good to have him back. I know that he's really enthusiastic about what they've mm, did done. Did he get it? It is carrying, but not but deep enough. Well, we get five tonight under the lights at Champion Stadium, a day before the final day of the season. 22 to eight our score.
Jarman, Jacinto, and Maloney. U-Triple-S-A is the stage where the nation's top sports stars shine for the country to see. On the diamond, the top baseball players are looking to be chosen by the Select 30 and compete as a team at the National Amateur Baseball Championships. In Fast Pitch, USA Elite selected the World Fast Pitch Championships brings together premier players and teams from across the country to play for the title and continue their dream of one day playing professional softball. While Nationwide Conference U-Triple-S-A hosts the stars of Slow Pitch Softball. Take your game to the next level. Play the best. Play U-Triple-S-A. ABC, one, two, three. We are on to the finals tomorrow. Right now, as it sits, unless we have a really wild finish, which I'm sure you would enjoy if All we right, had a wild finish, but it looks sure. like you're going to have the two heavyweights, but it's mono so. and smash it. So yep. to take those two out of the equation, who else do you like Dirty tomorrow? For what is your one dark horse? And then the other one for Brett? take down one of these two teams. I think Dan Smith is hurting a little. They may have lost their shortstop Bynum, Freddie Bynum, and Elsie Watson injury, possibly. They would have been the favorite to finish third, but uh, I'm going to go with Rax. Okay. They may be a little tired and undermanned, but uh, they have a shot. And what's interesting, the loser's bracket, bad draw could fall down to play, I think it's headlines seen headlines so we could have an A or double A team finish third Evan Jarman Jarman runs well one of the faster Jarman players in the league. And then run hard all the way in with the lead off. Double. Bad draw needs to cut this thing in half at least. The men taking part this week, the women taking part, and really get a chance to enjoy it. CJ. Jacinto here. Uh, Talked about the, the woman taking part here at the right. World Series, and Lindsay Schmidt is down there with one of the participants right. this year, the Women's World Series, who's having a lot of fun. Lindsay? Little microphone. Yeah, it would be helpful if I actually turned my mic on, but I was just going to say, that's right, Bernie. I'm here with Christy Draper. She plays for Diamond yep. Magic. They just came in second in the Women's B World Series. Christy, what was your experience like this year? Wow. You know, it was great. Uh, we went into the year um, expecting great things. We uh, put a lot of work into it and uh, came here and, and gave it our all and finished second. Uh, obviously hoping to win it all. Lost. We actually came in from the losers bracket uh, and and pushed them to the if game, and so it was exciting. We just came up a little short. Well, congratulations on making it that far and coming in second. Now, we talk a lot about in the men's game how there are former for former professional athletes. We had an arena football player in our last game. We've had some former MLB players. How would you say the talent level compares in the women's side of things? You know, very similar. Obviously, when you play uh, softball. You're mostly a fast pitch player now coming into the slow pitch game. So for me, no different. I was a collegiate fast pitch player coming into the slow pitch world. So, so many of us now, that's exactly what happens. We pretty much end our collegiate career looking to continue to play competitively. So we come into slow pitch and just pick up the, the next pace of the game and do the Got same catch. thing. 
and it's a great outlet for you guys who are so competitive and who might be peaking, you know, athletically at the time when you finish collegiate and you don't have another outlet. So having a chance to do play softball at a competitive level, I'm sure, is an awesome, you know, use of not just your time but your competitive energy. Absolutely, there's, there's nothing greater than that. I mean, it's it's uh, your teammates, the game, uh, the ability that you have. There's there's not quite much that that stands up to it. So it's pretty amazing. Thank you for your time, Christy. Thank you very much, Bernie. Where? Thanks so much. We got some really big no competitions that no go ball. on on the backfields. Great games. Hundreds of teams. Tim Mickey hammered another bad pitch. He almost hacked at it. But he flies out 370 feet away, and bad draw gets one. They trail by 13. Rosmano going to try to put him away here in the bottom of the fifth. Three experiences to have in one trip. Go Titusville.com. Less than one year later, here we are. And we've been very busy. And believing in this project. Giving this association the new chapter. Now this is the final stop for at least the next 20 years. The Space Ghost is becoming the... Here right, we go! Oh, hey, <laughs> Terry. All right, bottom of the fifth. Rismano needs just two oh, runs to push the back with that height. That's run all. rule. Just back. Move on to the final. Misery. misery. Get you to bet on time tonight. There's I mean. one. Yep. And Bubba, Mac Midnight's an early the night in the conference. The higher you go, Mac the closer you closes get. that run rule down to one run. Yes. 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 That was more than a foot. Buddy Wolf going right. to give it a shot. Keep it working. Keep working. Good old Buddy Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well just put all the infielders on the right side because he's swinging for the fence. Getting closer to post game. We'll ask you guys on goes. Facebook Live who should Lindsay Schmidt talk to post game? Who do you want to hear from? What do you? What's your your vote, T.W.? Um, uh, about Paul Winter, the pitcher for you. bad draw. He's got a few words to say about the strike zone. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be a bad interview. Boy, I Wait. was thinking that we may go somebody on Rosmato's sure. side. Sure, Re Wegman robbed that home run. Would you, you want to hear from Travis Rosmato? Sure. Hi. That one. He may have left. He may be sleeping. I see Travis down there in the corner of the dugout. Oh, Maybe you guys want to hear from... That looks like Scott Kirby with the bat. We'll go with the consensus on Facebook. Scott Kirby, the Hall of Famer. Kirby going to get a chance to finish it in his all-time leading home run frequency Wait. stat. Comes off the bench this game. That one's down the middle. Got a couple for Kirby. Got a couple for Travis Pazima. They might be meaning Travis Clark. Go a second. Oh, yeah, Travis Clark. Oh, 
I like the controversy, Bernie. Do you? Yeah. You know, Paul Winter, the pitcher, he's been heated about the strike zone. Let's put a mic in front of him and see what happens. We could <laughs> ask him afterwards. We, You know, it, after the Super Bowl, they interview the winners and the losers. Right. Right. Prismano needs one run, and you're going to get that after game interview. I got one. Got to get to him. He's that. What's that? Oh, my bad. I screwed that one up. California. That's the only one we got right now. We're down to one ball. We have one ball left. Even though Clay, <laughs> Clay Dickey's the ball man down there. He's got two of them. Play it. Swung on fairly deep. German's over. Good catch! And now we're one out away from playing another inning. I tell you, Hi. Clay Dickey last night during the home run derby. He was kind of like the Grinch who stole Christmas. There's a bunch of people that grabbed a bunch of home run balls there on the island and they woke up the next morning and half of them were gone because he needed to get some balls he back. Took them. I think he was handing out t-shirts though. Every five balls you found in the home run derby, he would give you a t-shirt to get them back. Falk needs a hit to end Quiet. the game. Otherwise, we're going to play another inning. Full count to Falk. The payoff pitch hammers it. We'll so see you all tomorrow. Yep. Rizmondo smashes the game you've been waiting for. Will happen at least for the first time tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Our final score in this one, 25 to 9. There's no doubt about that one. And so now we've got our final two in the winner's bracket. And it's the number one and the number two. And a big win for Rosmondo. At one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And also for Travis Rosmondo, who's excited that his team is back in the finals. He is down on the field with Lindsey Schmidt. Lindsey? Bernie, that's right. I'm here with Travis Rosmondo. Travis, you guys are going back to the final. How does it feel to go back to that game? It gets harder every time we go back, so we'll see what happens tomorrow and give it our all. All right. Well, looking at the way your team has played throughout the tournament, what do you like about this team moving into tomorrow's game? We struggled all season. Um, we struggled on the small fields, and we set this team up to win Disney. So if the guys come out and hit tomorrow, we'll see what happens. Well, this will be your last chance to win at Disney because next year we are moving to Space Coast Stadium. A lot of history, a lot of memories here at Disney. So this could be the last, last big memory you guys make here. It would be a great memory to finish and get my number 11 here if I can get it. And uh, we'll go see what happens in the Space Ghost. All right, Travis, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much, Lindsay. We are so glad you guys joined us on another great day of softball. Early in the morning, I'm going to soccer. Paul O'Leary, Matt O'Hare, they're going to make sure you got a camera to watch at 9.30, and then we'll be here later in the day for a little more USSA Men's Major World Series Championship. For now, for our entire USSA crew, Bernie Gunther is saying good night here from Champion Stadium.